Hey guys, I haven't done a video in ages, and especially a doll vlog, so I thought that with my new phone we could bring that tradition back to life and start doing this again, if people are still interested. We finally have Ever After High dolls in Tallinn, and Monster High Freaky Fusion dolls. The only thing is that since this is my first smartphone, I kind of forget that they do these black lines when you hold the camera the wrong way, but I try to fix it as much as possible. So here we have the new Freaky Fusion dolls and there was Bonita that you just saw and there we have Sarina One Boo who I think is a pretty cool character I think all of these look really awesome and there Avia who has also a pretty cool design as far as I'm concerned and then we have Laguna and Sheena Fix done together I'm really interested about what their diaries will be like. I should try and find a good review that mentions that. If you know one, leave it in the comments. And here we have Claudine and Gina Fire fused together in one beautiful monster. They had quite a wide collection, but I didn't get a chance to film all of them. But here's a glimpse. And there's a Twyla and Elizabeth in a minute. There she is, up there with Honey. The prices are quite high, they keep making them higher. The Freaky Fusion ones are nearly 50 euros. These are a bit over 40 if I'm not mistaken. And these smaller ones are anywhere from 23 to 26 generally. So this is why I haven't been getting any. They keep making each new collection more expensive than the last one. But there is quite a big selection here. As you can see, there are picture day dolls, there are still some scary dolls, there are some completely new collections, such as these with the really weird teeth, in my opinion, and the bubblegum. There is Spectra who lights up and then she glows just like that. Yeah. I personally prefer this. I think what this is doing is a lot cooler, but sadly, it's unsafe in here. Um, but thanks a lot from around for assisting me with those. But let's move on to the Ever After High Dolls, which we also now finally have. The Ever After High Dolls are all pretty expensive. Apple is $39.99 and so is Madeline and all of the other ones are over 40 euros, including this Goldilocks, this Cupid, um, this Cedar. Briar, and then we have Raven, who is also 49, 42.99 euros, and Prince Charming, the much nicer one, uh, also the same price, and the Legacy Day dolls. Briar and Raven are 54.99, but Apple for some reason is 49.99, so 50 euros. There's also some furniture. I don't know how expensive, but I'm guessing between uh, 60 and 70 euros. And finally, we have Ashlyn and Hunter. Over 50. I'm guessing also around. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope I still have an audience because I'm planning on making a comeback with this new phone. And I'm also planning on holding it the right way the next time so it won't have those black frames. But if you're wondering why I'm not doing much toll reviews anymore myself, it's because I haven't gotten any. And the reason for that is because they keep making each new collection more expensive here than the last. The policy seems to be that if anyone is still buying them, we must add to the price. So uh, maybe if I go to London again, I will get some. But until then, there isn't too much hope. I'm not planning on getting Ever After High dolls, simply because I like Monster High dolls better. Um, in regards to videos, I'm trying to be making one of the Sherlock ones. I hope that will be done someday. I've really been working on it, but it seems to just never be perfect. If you liked that video, please subscribe. Please tell me to make more. I need the inspiration. And I hope I'll see you really soon. Rather sooner than later. See you.